Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another brand new Star Wars The Black Series archive line action figure. We got Han Solo from the uh, sequel trilogy, I guess you could say. Um, predominantly The Force Awakens and then his uh, brief appearance in The Rise of Skywalker. Um, yeah, so updated head for this one. Um, this was an absolute no-brainer for me. I'm a big Han Solo fan. Um, so yeah, the second he came into work... Um, I, I grabbed him myself, <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure we do have them stocked for pre-order at uh, kesselrunhair.com, so um, <clears throat> it'd be cool to get some more in, hopefully, um, because, I don't know, I hope this one does well, I really do, um, you know, very nice upgrade, and uh, I was sticking with the SH Figure Arts version for a while, um, but yeah, in moving on that collection... This one was a, a must-have. Um, see, as far as, I'm, as far as I know, um, they've completely done a new head sculpt and, you know, maybe a little bit of touching up in the weathering of the jacket. Um, I don't have the original on hand. Um, but, yeah, this one's looking pretty good. It was the original release from 2015. Hard to believe that was already seven years ago. That's crazy. Um, so, yeah, a little bio on the back. just says, this, The exploits of Han Solo are legendary. He's been a famed smuggler, captain of the Millennium Falcon, and a hero of the Rebel Alliance. Solo once again finds himself in the center of the action. So yeah, this one comes in a wave with um, Chewbacca, uh, which we do still have on the website. Um, Leia in Boosh disguise, and Lando in Skiff Guard disguise, I believe. Um, so yeah, Han and Chewie first wants to sort of pop up for us. Um, and yeah, we'll keep our eyes open for, for the rest. So let's crack this weapon open and have a good look. All right, here we have the legendary smuggler. And I must say, he's looking pretty good. Again, I don't have the original at hand right now, but I feel like there's a little bit more going on, at least the weathering on the jacket. Um, can't confirm whether it's a new head sculpt, um, but they've gone with the sort of photo reel paint apps on this one. And it turned out really nice. Um... I'm sort of leaning towards the fact that it may be a new head sculpt, if not minor minor tweaks. Um, yeah, it could, it could be the the old one, but I think that what they've been able to do with it is really good if it is, because um, it looks looks quite nice. And there's the packaging just sort of popping away there. So yeah, still comes with his trademark blaster there, which will fit in his holster there. No, no updates to the rest of the body. Um, still has the, you know, the old pin legs, which is fine. Not a big deal. Um, I'm just happy to have a nice update to this figure. Hopefully, they get around to doing a general layer and, you know, Luke Skywalker in his sort of white Jedi outfit. Um, they'd be ideal for an update. I don't think they need to come in archive packaging. I think they could, Hasbro could do away with the the whole archive subline. And just put them into the main line with the um, coloured sort of collage pictures on the side. Um, you know, a great way to sort of fill up that line and make it more expansive and more diverse than it, than it is. Um, that's just my two cents. Would like just a sort of a bit more of a relaxed hand as opposed to this other gripping hand. Um... But that could just be being sort of spoiled with Marvel Legends recently, so that could that could very well be my my issue there. Um, but yeah, I'd love for Star Wars figures to come with more more changes of hands, um, just different accessories, some cool stuff like that. But yeah, again, being sort of spoiled by Marvel Legends recently, we're sort of getting back into that line quite a bit. Um, but. It's cool. I'm very happy to have this figure in my collection. As you know, you all know, I'm a big Han Solo fan, so it's it's one that I just had to have. And I think he came out very nice. Awesome likeness of Harrison Ford. There finally got the grey hair. The original sort of the original sort of came with a very sort of light brown. Um, and Hasbro did do a running change, but I don't believe it actually even got out to retail at all. I don't believe. Um, there may have been a few samples out there somewhere in the world. 
But yeah, still got a little bit of a wash through the hair there, so you get a little bit of a extra t different tones through there. You can sort of see the sort of darker sections. But it's looking good. Looking much more Han Solo. I don't know if we can see too much on the back of the card there. Yeah, kinda. But uh, yeah, I'm loving this one. I can't wait to to find a Chewy and and display them together. Oh, Chewy, we're home. It's one of the most greatest moments in t video cinema trailer <laughs> history, um, in my opinion. I'm a little bit biased, being the Star Wars fan I am, but I don't know. That was pretty incredible. That first or was the second trailer after the teaser, I think, from memory. I mean, the first trailer after the teaser. So we have Han Solo. Yeah, just a little... I feel like there's more weathering to this jacket. I could be wrong. I just feel like it was a little bit flat before. But... This is cool. It seems to be a little bit more weathering on the uh, on the upper boots there. But again, like I said, don't have the original to compare to. So either way, I'm happy. I'm glad I got it. I appreciate you watching. Please send out below. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're home, Chewie. Chewy, world.